Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. It's me, Jasmine Janice. If you are new, welcome. If you are coming back, make sure you um, subscribe and hit that notification button so you know every time I upload. Um, I'm just gonna get right to it. So I don't take up too much of your time. I this video should actually probably be a little long. So yeah, make sure you stay, tell me what you think, and so um first off I have already done my <clears throat> primer and everything first I use my spray that I always use and then I actually use um, the hangover primer that I also always use um so first let's do my brows because I was gonna wait and not do them first but I might as well just get it done so, for some reason, I don't have my brush. Okay, we're gonna use a brush when it comes in. It's my um, CoverGirl Brow Pomade in the shade Dark Brown. And I only wanted my brush because uh, it's like this big. $8.99. And, um, this better be long. I've never used it before and it comes with a brush like with the top but this is the brush so I'm gonna try to do this as quick as possible I'm probably gonna have to speed this up let's hope for the best oh my god you like a regular size brush so I didn't really like hate this pomade it actually was really nice for what I had to do with it. It was just the applicator brush. I mean, look at it. The applicator brush was ridiculous. But other than that, it was really easy for me to get it done. It went on really smooth. Um, my brows just look better to me with pomade. I think they lay neater. I just I just like how it looks. Um, I just wanted to show real quick the thing it came in. It's so tiny. It's so tiny. And I think it was like seven dollars for this which i could just rather splurge my usual eighteen dollars for the anastasia beverly hill but then i just moved on i already filled them with shadow and um i put on my la girl pro concealer in cool tan on my lid and i just wanted to show you how i was going to blend this in i did not set my concealer i just went straight in with this orange on the palette and um, I was just packing it packing it the best I can and then I took a clean Morphe M441 and I just went on top and I did that little tan color underneath and I went back with the orange and blended it out it was just really back back and forth and I did it to my other side and I went in and I cut my crease for this look and this actually worked out really well with the orange and the concealer color that I used later on when um, I blended but I just wanted to cut my crease and make sure it was nice and neat and then I always I don't know why I always go higher on my other side so I'm just gonna go and match it and I wanted the concealer to really cover for this look I was trying to do because I was initially recreating a look that I found on Instagram by um, J Mac Makeup and I don't follow her I was just scrolling through my searches and it just gave me videos that I might like and I saw it and I really liked it so I went in um, from the same palette that I got the orange from and I went in with this white glittery um, shade which was really nice it showed up really good and I mean I really packed it on there too then I took my NYX glitter in copper and first I'm going to go with the glue. Well, first I'm going to set that concealer with a shade that I found the closest with that also had glitter in it. And it looked like a nice transition from the white to a lighter orange to the orange I had in my crease. So I take a really thin brush I have and I put the glue first right on the cut of that crease that I made and I just put the glue and then I go over wipe the glue off and I use the glitter and I pack it on and I'm gonna make it actually like a wing 
and I went out some more and I added the glitter and it actually looked really good and then um, I tried to wipe some of that glitter off I go with my Revlon skinny eyeliner and um, I take that and I do my wing a nice I try to do a nice sharp wing right under it so I went and bought a new foundation and it is the 24 hour wear by um, all of the color stay by Revlon um, for combination oily skin is the one I got and I am the shade cappuccino I put some of this on my face the other day and it disappeared so I thought it was pretty well awesome. It says it's, um, it doesn't say how if it's like full coverage or not. I'm like, that's gonna matter how much I put on. I'm still gonna put on a lot. So, I'm gonna take my, I'm actually gonna take my angle. No, I'm gonna take my flat one. Flat bitch. And spray it with the Urban K All Night Spray. Like I said, I had already put some of this on my face the other day, and get back a little bit, and um, it actually shows up really good. I thought this was a really good match. That looks really good on me. So now we're gonna do concealer. I didn't pick up any new concealers, but I want it a little brighter than usual. So I'm gonna actually use my LA Girl Pro Concealer um, that I used earlier on my eyelids. It's in the shade Cool Tan. <clears throat> So I bought new beauty blenders and I have this purple one that's really soft so I'm super happy because any other time I've been buying them, they've like not been like the real ones. So it's been annoying. So I'm just putting it down with my Urban Decay all right. I'm gonna let this sit for a second and um, change up the look that I went off of that I was supposed to be recreating. But, um, I really like this. I'm still going to try to do this, too. But it's like, uh, that one right there. And I realized my copper, my glitter isn't, they're not, like, how that's showing up on there. They feel like a nice wet look. Mine looks like glitter, so. I'll try it, but another, another time, I'll do it. But that was really cute. But I don't hate what I did either. I think this actually looks really nice. Um, I think it looks really nice. And these lashes. Living for these lashes right now. These lashes. I'm, I'm going to sleep in this makeup. No, I won't. Don't do that. Don't sleep in your makeup. Don't do that. If you're sleeping in your makeup, you're wrong. I know what I'm doing with my face when I conceal, and I know I look weird as shit. But I still need to bring it down. But I'm trying to like smooth that skin as much as possible. I, everything I have on my face, my glitter is from NYX, um, my brow pomade, my eyeshadow actually is, uh, 
which still that palette was like $19.99. So, anyways, $20. So, uh, and my lashes are literally from Walmart. I haven't put any mascara on yet. I haven't like curled them. They look so good. And y'all know I don't have eyelashes, so I'm like doing a move. I love them. I'm going to sleep super late because But um eyeliner um is from Revlon. So everything I'm using on my face. LA Euro Pro Concealer, my beauty blender I got from CVS tonight. Um, but no one can tell me like, oh my god, your makeup looks so good. I just can't afford to. My my True Complexion Contour Palette, eight dollars from CVS or Walmart. So like, literally, no one has any. What if I do? Let me set my palette on all day. If I have any excuse to be like, oh, you know, if you can't get your makeup to look like that, that's different. But don't say you don't have the stuff to go get it. Cause just because I go out and splurge all my money at one time, please believe me, I'm not balling. <laughs> but doing makeup makes me feel better. It it relaxes me. You know, and it makes me feel good. So I make a point to do that. Make give me some makeup whenever it's most convenient. So usually payday. That's the only time it can be the most convenient. Can I get this powder out? This powder smells so good. This is the naturally neutral, which I'm gonna mix with my um Born This Way powder, but I don't use that this often, like, I don't use this that often. It's, um, it's called Aspen, Airspun, Who's Face Powder. I've seen many chocolate girls use this, okay? Every time I try to use it, it does not work the same. So, we're gonna see. I'm gonna mix it, so I'm gonna mix it with my slightly yellow my yellow one but this one's like a nice like a neutral it's not white okay, so even the one I bought the one that's um, supposed to be like it's white and it's not supposed to show any like any color like not really translucent like it's like pure white it's like R, not RC Cola, like RX something, I don't know, but I bought it and personally, it was trash, personally. At least when I tried to use it, it was not doing whatever it was supposed to do. I was very washed out, I don't know if it was a certain way I was trying to use it, because, you know, me, I don't need no direction with me. But, when I mix it together and with it, take it off. And I'm actually gonna let this sit. Which for me doesn't work out like it's so good. And I'm gonna keep trying to put it like I'm just doing it now. Then I watch everybody else in the <laughs> I 
I'm gonna leave it there so it doesn't crease. This is why I don't. So, I'm gonna just put my contour and add in that. Not too bad. I mean, I don't look washed out, so I'm pretty happy. Now, my face feels funny. I'm gonna let powder chill. I'm gonna add all my other things. I'm gonna add two, actually. I'm gonna add the other one, the D slick. Yes, I added. And then now I'm going to add the piece So, um, while that's doing that, I'm gonna move on to <laughs> oh, mascara. Sorry, I'm like in him doing deep. I died. Because I haven't kept it. It's my bottom lash. I have to do that. So, we're gonna take the wet and loud color 328B, of course. Um, Mellow Wine. I like what that name is. I think it's a, I mean, it's kind of red. I mean, it's much more of a pinky red. So, I don't really see it. And then I have the Master Chrome in the shade Mountain Peach, which uh, I didn't I'm not going to want to orange peach, which is fine. I'm not going to I'm going to put one more on. Don't have one of these, like you really, like you need to get in. Don't dig in. I'm ready. So I bought these lip liners. They were like six dollars plus two more of the same ones. Um, I used one already. So this one is which shade? What shade is this? Which shade are you? I guess it's this shade. I mean, I put on this one earlier. Anyway, I have this one too. But they have a little, I like a lot of like two ones, like this one and this one. 
Let me try this one. So you can actually like, let me put it here. You can kind of see the difference. Like one's a little more brown. Girl. I can't see no difference. Like they look the same. Two is So I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna use the brown. I'm gonna do that. This one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these lip liners. Like, I haven't sharpened it or anything, and it's coming up real, like, pigmented on there. And six dollars, six dollars even. And they come with a sharpener. So I used to never learn with it. Cause I the first time lip lining was a huge thing. Okay. True or false. But it was a big thing of like a lot of girls doing it. Was when Kylie Jenner had her like They showed her like using it or whatever, her little thing that made the heat her lips bigger, whatever. So, I like Anyway, I, uh, that's when it was a big thing. So, obviously, my lips aren't small. So I was like, why would I need a lip liner like? Okay, but, but what what is that gonna do for me? Cause I thought it was supposed to be like plump up your lips. Depending on how you use it. Like I just think it looks cleaner after I do my makeup. But that oh that lipstick that I used sorry that I not put it I I lose it okay it is from Tarte and it's the Tartiest is what it says Tartiest lip paint and it's in the shade front row I never use this because you know why. I didn't have a lip liner and it was gonna look funny on me. So if I just put this on my lips by itself, it looks crazy. But since I have a lip liner and it's it's very useful. So like if I feel like it's too pink for this look, go in, go further in. Look, this is what I do. And I darken it. A little more so you can barely tell now I can go back and fix it Sorry. anyways uh, and then I can line it back up it's it's a lot you can do with that but a lot of times I don't like my makeup because I have this little you can see that part it looks crazy. So let me finish this. So this is it. Super hungry. Hope y'all like it. Like and subscribe to my channel. I know people were saying they don't ever see my regular hair, but here it is. All moisturized and looking fantastic. Growing. But 
tell me how y'all like this video um I know someone asked me to do a really detailed blending video um this was it I mean <laughs> like it's not as hard as it seems I guess I can do another one with like bright colors so you can really really see but yeah I'll be working on that but always tell me what you think how you like it what you want to see next and um I'll see you at my next video peace